man. You're done. Do some. Nice. See, that was a pretty heavy hit to take, but it was decent trade off. It's kind of what this build is all about, just trading hits. Knowing when to trade and when not to trade and when, what's easier to just avoid. In the long run, that probably wasn't the smartest hit to trade. If I was planning to like go a long period of time without a bonfire. But I'm not like restricting my bonfire usage or anything for this run. If I were, that might make things a little more interesting. Say night shirt. How many shards do I have now? Three. Pretty sure I need either six or eight for one more upgrade before I'm getting into the the Titan Knight large shards. Titan Knight shards. Oh, hello. Stop. I broke my poise. Nice. Kind of went in panic switch swinging, but that happens sometimes. Is this a path? No, this is not a path. On the next little alleyway. I just feel like there should be something in here, but there never is. Just an extra little alcove for like PvP players to hide in. Wait, yeah, this does a thing. No, oh, okay. I was thinking if I did my poise, if I did my poise up close to him, then maybe that would knock him back. But I'm thinking of the axe. The, bat the battle axe has war cry as an ability. You do war cry up close to an enemy, it knocks them back, it knocks them out, or it doesn't knock them out, but it it, it can break their poise. For a moment, at least, and stagger them. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. It's kind of a super, superfluous heal. Yeah, let's go in the cemetery. Or actually, let's just kill this guy and then level up. Aha! If you poise through the beginning of that attack and keep punching, then it interrupts it. Because that's an annoying sort of attack. The sort of attack you don't even really want to get close to it. Because even if he's not facing you, he could still hit you. So you just end up hanging back, and that's kind of boring. All right, so level up, lady. Level up, lady. Level me up. I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting decent returns on my attack. Look, 
What does the defense? Am I just totally off on my theory that something helps prevent bleed? No. Nothing prevents bleed. I am totally off. I like she tells you something important, but I forget when. Do you have anything else to say? Options collapse. Oh, I should have slowed down for the line read. Nipsions. Yeah, you know what? What is good against demons? Is dark good against demons? I forget. I think dark is good against demons, but I don't have anything. I don't think I have any dark. Like dark pine resin or anything like that. Pretty sure all I have is fire, yeah. Okay. We'll rest, we'll help. Igmire. Siegfried. I can never remember which is which. Which is from which game. Oh, wrong way. I was like, wait, where is he? Because <laughs> there's a guy out the door here. I was like, oh yeah, that staircase isn't supposed to be there. I'm on the wrong side. Oh. Yes, geometry. Oh, for a second I thought that dog just fell off the cliff. No, he did. Man, okay. It's funny. Yeah, pathfinding is a bitch. Alright. Throw. Dodge through. Oh, I... I dodged way too early that one. I forget if there's anything worth it over here. Oh, I need to get... I need to get that key. Catacombs key. Oh, let's go back. Let's go to the elevator. Are we going up or down? I think we're going up. Yes. Forget which side it is. Up. Uh, here we go. Ah. Got a first try. I usually have to go up and down the elevator once or twice before I get here. Good for you. Um. Hmm. I'll switch to daggers. They're not gonna do much against an enemy enemy like this, but heck. Green blossom might be good too. Start running up towards you? Or are you still safe here? Okay. Ooh, that was bad. Wow. Damn. I knew he did like a body exp oh. 
Good work, Siegmeier. Just said your name. I can't remember what it is. No, I say Glind, because that's the daughter from the first one. All right, Winnie the Pooh, I'm coming back for you. I'm pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure the demon stays dead now, though. Now that he successfully did that. I helped. Go. And cussed. <laughs> I like that. Any tips? It depends on what kind of build you're doing. Like, I'm doing the fist build. Um, every build plays a bit differently. Some some ways they work the way you expect them to. Some, sometimes they don't. And I don't pretend to be an expert or anything like that. I'm just kind of doing my thing. Doing what I think is kind of cool, but also kind of challenging. Looking for that good balance between fun and challenging. Yeah, the terrible, like, yes, yeah, the, the one that makes you act like you're terrible at the game, which is not hard for me because I'm already terrible. I could, like, do the math and stuff like that. And I have done a little bit of the math to try to theory craft my way to a good build, but at the end of the day, I don't want to just get pick the biggest sword. Oh, they're not following me. Go back up here. I'm pretty sure the demon stays dead, like I was saying. Oh, maybe not. If he's still humming, the demon's probably still alive. Yeah. I thought the demon had died, but maybe he didn't finish its death, death animation in time. Right before I faded out. I'll grab that. Uh, yeah, was useless. Oof. Okay. Oh, here's the body explosion. Oh, maybe not. That's just him entering his second phase. I guess I never realized he has the second phase. Tricky part is you don't want to get close enough to hit your buddy by accident. All right, Jim, there we go. Yeah, I agree with that. Mage build is all about managing your Estus and managing the other stuff that goes with that. With the Ashen Estus flask and everything. Oh, do I not get it? Oh, am I just getting it now? So I am just getting it now. There we go. And you have your nap. I will collect that tongue. It's either a tongue or an ear. I forget which one it is. I used to play this game religiously. It's kind of almost shocking how much of that information has just gone from my head. Now, can I? Nope. Need to back up a little bit. Not quite. Ah, gotcha. Aiming in this game kind of is janky as heck. Yes, the sands of time are indeed.
But, I mean, that's kind of a good thing, because there are some things that, you know, it's good to kind of do all over again. There's some experiences that are worth having a second time. There we go. Got it. There's the tongue. That will give me the ability to talk to what's his name and then fight the Dark Wraith to get the, the full eyeball, the red eye. This feels like a trap. It really should have been a trap. I don't think it is, though. I always have to second guess myself. It's kind of like how you, when you do basic math, but then you have to second guess your own answer. Like, what is 9 times 5? 45 doesn't seem right, but I guess it is. Okay, this is the actual trap. I wonder if I can trigger them. Just with a punch. Nope. Not even an uppercut. Wait. As you can tell, they, they're different colors. I don't know if it shows up on the stream as well, but those guys have different colors. You can tell some of them are active and some of them are just part of the scenery. There we go. Ah. Oh, man, the poo. Oh, I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally removed my fists. That's why I was not doing enough damage. There we go. Yeah, I accidentally removed my castus and I was just doing barehanded punches. That's not the type of build I'm doing right now. That's another guy who's alive. I'm not even going to bother with him. Oh. Ah. I was guessing which one was going to attack me next. Oh. That's a misclick. Oh, come on. You almost need poise to fight these guys, because you don't know how they're going to hit you. They're going to hit you, though. Yeah. And see, these guys feel like they should... Oh, they are a trap, actually. That's right, too. Once I open that, that chest, they fall down. Or some of them fall down, at least. I think the chest is not worth it, though. So I'm going to ignore them, and I'm going to ignore these guys. I'm going to go, going to go for my Flynn's Ring. So I have tried to do fist builds before. And the Flynn's Ring was kind of an important part of them, but I'm not sure if I'll stick with that or not. I'm wearing much more armor than I normally would right now. Because with Flynn's Ring, you're either going for damage and very little defense, or you're going for poise and defense, and just trying to use hyper armor to get through all, all of the enemy attacks. Boom. I don't think there's an enemy down here to fight. Clarenthy ring. Okay, that's another useful ring. I forgot that's where that's where you get that. You're probably going to hear me say, I forgot that's where you do that in this game a lot. Lens ring. So there is an optimal percentage to keep this at. Since I'm going for the fast rolls, oh, my weight ratio is high. 
Maybe I need to get rid of my chainmail. Might have to. 32. I have better trousers to switch to. Who am I sorting by? Eight. Yes. Sort by weight. The way to go. Available source for trousers. I can downgrade my gauntlets. Here I am talking about armor versus defense. Or armor versus the Flynn's Ring attack buff. Now I'm just automatically going, falling into my old ways. Switching up my defense to take advantage. I forget exactly. There is there is some some data to suggest that if you go naked, like you're significantly less defended than if you have the crappiest piece of armor on for each slot of arm for each of your armor slots in this game. Or DS3 specifically. Dark Souls 1, it wasn't as bad, but Dark Souls 3, you need to have at least something in each armor slot, otherwise you suffer big penalties for defense. I'm at 26%. Downgrade this a little bit more. Worker gloves, yeah, we'll go with that. And that way, I don't totally look like crap either. I mean, I kind of look like crap, but a lot of things look like crap in this game. That's just the aesthetic. Not because it actually looks like it's bad. Or poorly done. There we go. Yeah, let's take these guys out. Why not? I want to see how this defense holds up. Okay. I don't want to see what dropped down here. Worker hat. I'll just run away. I'll just coward out. There's a doggy there. Go back towards the bonfire. I got enough souls here. I'd rather just save my souls. Get a couple of levels, levels up. I'm probably over leveled for what I was trying to do. I think I'm at soul level 22 right now. Now, the part where I tell myself I'm going to up my faith and intelligence like I was planning to do, and then just bump my dexterity instead. Oof. That frame rate was not. Yeah, this is definitely not a streaming computer. Oh, and I need. I need to sell some stuff first. Just to make everyone mad. Everyone who watches this will get mad at me selling random. Yeah, we'll even sell this. Why not? The only thing I'm not selling is the Golden Falcon Shield, just for fashion souls. And the armor. We're not selling armor. Ashen 1. Oh. Wait, no, I need like 8,000, don't I? Eat some souls. I'm happy with that. I always have to play that little mental game where I make sure I'm not overspending or overeating on souls. Yeah, so I'm pumping decks, sharp castus. 
This is actually pretty decent so far. Now it's just a matter of deciding where I want to go next. Got lots of options. I've got maybe 20 minutes left before I need to quit. So let's give the Curse Rotted Greatwood a run. Dodge. Oh, it ran out of stamina just as I passed by him. Oh, I never dealt with the tower giant either. Oh, and I need to get the handmaid's ashes too. Or not the handmaid's ashes, the mortician's ashes. That's what it's called. Oh man, I was hoping to get in around him. Cleric stuff? Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Is there another guy that drops down here? No, there's not. I always feel like there should be. Just for the old double whammy. And at least one of them would catch you off guard. Oof, okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, yeah. I am turning into a dex beast. Alright, so we'll give the tree... We'll give tree, bo tree beard a, a run. Just to see how it works out. Open the door. Just because it's handy. In case I have to end up trying this again, which I most likely will, because you don't have very good ranged attacks. This is kind of a tough boss in the second phase when you're trying to beat his, you know, pustules, his weak spots. I'm going to put a number on my pause menu. So I have it handy. If I get close to beating him and I'm running out of Estus, then I have that handy. It's really better to use a number near the beginning, because that increases your overall health early on. But I want to avoid using a number right now, if I can. So I'll keep it as a just-in-case thing. Hello. You're down. All right. Oof. I thought he was going to actually step on me there. Ooh. That staggered me, but didn't hurt me. Oh, I'm already using up way more health than I plan to at this point. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Uh, his health bar had to drop to like half before he bust his nuts. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. It does mean that the second phase is going to be trickier. Ooh, that. That frame rate. Ah. 
Okay, that took me out. I kind of expected it to go down like that, but I wanted to see how far I would get. Just on the way my build is right now. Realistically, I should be able to take him out. I just needed a little bit more prep. There's a katana wielding solar. The heck, that feels wrong. I should use my pine resin against the, the tree. The fire pine resin should be pretty good against him. I want to use it all up though. I don't think I can buy it from the shrine handmaiden yet. I'm just going to take a look. Rainer. Rainer. Oh, he's fast asleep. Can I? Oh, yeah, I have to get my stuff. Purchase. Yeah, okay, you can buy it from her. Still need. Oh, you know what? I haven't given Loretta's bone to that dude yet. I should do that as well. He's not here yet. Go back to the high wall. All on the wall or high wall? Forget which way is closer to him. I'm pretty sure it's this way. We'll just do that, get him out of taken care of, and then probably call it a day. Fasting all morning, I should get something to eat. I need to go for a walk, I need to do some groceries, I need to do some other stuff. Life, man. Life just kind of gets in the way of Dark Souls sometimes. Wait, this isn't the one I want to go to. Ow, that didn't hit me at all. I didn't think I dodged fast enough, but maybe I did. You're dead. The other one at the top of the ladder? No, it is not. Oh, he, he didn't even wake up yet. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting everything mixed up. Geographically, geographically speaking. Whoa, that could have been bad. <laughs> that... That could have damaged me. That could have killed me. I was being dumb. The brain fog is settling in. Good sign that it good sign that I need something to eat. Need some calories for my brain. Oh, I need a key for him. Oh, I know where the key is. I got enough time I can do that right now. Ooh. And sometimes my computer struggles with like basic transitions between walking from room to room. Yo. You know what? Maybe I bit off more than I could chew right here. Watch them all die from the dragon. Or maybe not. You're dead. I'm doing this like the most ass backward way possible. 
I really am doing it the most ass backward way possible, actually. I needed to go the other way. Ow. Ow. Wow, the dragon is just not in the mood today, is he? Hey, knight. Yeah, I was going the complete wrong direction. For pretty much almost that entire section. I'll go over here. Go down this ledge, into the doorway. Maybe fight the knight there. Then clear out the next room. Hello. <laughs> I love breaking their guard. Poise is so good for this game. Just for this build alone, I wish it worked the same way it did in Dark Souls 1. Because it could be a lot better. But I mean, for what it is, it's useful without being easy to abuse. Do. Oh, there we go. Oh, I only took out the buff dog. Look at his attention. Yeah, and that's just his attention. That was a flub. I ate a hit that I didn't need to eat. The other guy, see, oh, he went down the stairs. I need to actually buy items. I'm starting to use them more. Oh, there's a guy right behind me, isn't there? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Now we can open that dude, open up that dude's cage and give him his not clear, not clear if it's a family member or his like girlfriend or something like that. But either way, someone he cares about left behind their bone. It's not actually their bone because if you read the description, it says, "Oh, it's like this bone that they used to play with." They have like holes drilled into it for some reason. And then the guys like, "Oh, it's that bone she used to play with. That's how I know she's dead." Not actually like a bone from her body, it's just one that she had. Am I gonna get owned as soon as I walk up here? Nope, I'm good. So in retrospect, I should have attacked. Oh man, okay.
uh, accidentally double tapped the ways. Oh, I was going to say, what happened to you? All right, let's go back to our thief boy. This way. This way. Let's not punch the barrels. I've done that before. Punching barrels full of TNT with fire fists. Not fun. Would not recommend. Current request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Can't tell him right there that she's dead. You have to go back to Firelink. So, Boneward Home. My bonfire. And I'll talk to him now. That will probably be the last thing that we do. I'll talk to him now just so I don't forget to do that at the beginning of the next session. Ooh, that frame rate. There we go. It's loading in the fire link. Okay, so anything I need to buy from him, I should do that now. The next time I see him, he'll be kind of useless. Let's buy let's buy some fire bombs. I don't think I need the thief's mask. Maybe I'll just buy it anyway, just in case. And does he have anything else worth getting? He has those embers. Throwing knives. We could always shoot more of those. Talk. Dirt. Nah. We're good. Alright, and that'll be it for now. For anybody here, if you're still here, I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for joining me, and uh, do whatever. Enjoy your weekend, if it's still a weekend for you, which I'm sure it is, because no time zone is on Monday yet. No.